The Global Child Forum was initiated by the King and Queen of Sweden back in 2009. Since then, the foundation has brought together global business leaders, governments, rights activists and other stakeholders to find ways of upholding children's rights. Everyone has the responsibility to raise our children to be free citizens of the world, free from violence in all shapes, and to be self-dependent people. Despite having adopted a children's charter 25 years ago, children in Africa remain amongst the most vulnerable in the world. We cannot really achieve what we want to achieve for the children in a continent that is underdeveloped, that is marginalized, that is poor. So the, the, as, as we develop the continent and make it prosperous, so will be the chances of our children having a better life on the continent. Following on his legacy, Grosha Michel, widow of former South African President Nelson Mandela, called on the world to pay more attention. While governments are often blamed for failing their children, Michel says the private sector also has an important role to play. It's more than just protecting children. It's investing in children. It's to be part of the national or sub-regional or continental, I mean, effort to invest in the development of human capital of our nations because that's where we are still struggling. It's in our human capital. So companies have to include this. They have to be encouraged to include this. And there has to be a mechanism uh, uh, through which governments can also, I mean, verify what is being done and push. This is the first time that the Global Child Forum is taking place in Africa. There was quite an impressive lineup of speakers and delegates attending today's meeting. And obviously keen participation coming through from business, from government, from civil society and other organizations. However, it remains to be seen whether this forum will actually put in place any mechanisms or structures to actually hold business leaders or government leaders accountable for child rights. So business is rushing in. It's not only China. Many other countries mm -hmm. from Europe and mm -hmm. North America mm -hmm. are coming in here. The GDP is growing. This is the time to get it right. Apart from being a global platform for dialogue, the Global Forum has made huge strides in research, sharing of information and highlighting best practice amongst various countries. But the forum has emphasized the urgent need for education and the access thereof, the use of technology and the reduction of poverty to not only improve children's welfare, but for overall economic growth and stability. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Pretoria.